No, but I don't know if y'all know this or not, but female comics are told from day one that they're uh, not allowed to dress too attractively on stage or else men won't pay attention to their jokes because men are men. <laughs> And uh, so as a show of solidarity to all of my female comic friends this year on my comedy tour, I have been covering up the most attractive parts of my body. I'm down here. I'm down here, ma'am. I'm down here, okay? I will not be objectified during my set. That is not how this is going to roll out. This is, uh... But I, uh, I went bald when I was 24. Yeah, but I got married when I was 22, so woof, right in under that deadline. I was, uh, was touch and go there for a minute, but uh, beat the buzzer. But uh, we got married when we were 22, and uh, I married a little hot, awesome, great looking little gymnast, rock star, cheerleader looking girl. And she looked 17 when she was 22. And I was 22, and I looked 22. And then two years later, my wife still looked 17, and I look like I look right now. <laughs> so picture me in the grocery store holding hands with that little hot 17 year old walking around like, mm-hmm. <laughs> what I'm saying is I was arrested <laughs> like several times. <laughs> People are like, Marty, why don't you just shave it all the way off? Like just shave it all the way off. I can't pull that off. I'm not cool enough. You gotta give off a different vibe than I give off. Like I give off a vibe that everyone sees immediately, basketball referee. <laughs> Thank you for proving my point. That is, uh... If you shave your head all the way off, you need to give off a vibe like an undercover government agent. I look like an agent a real estate agent. <laughs> Besides, I can't shave it all the way off because then my head is never the same color tan. If I shave my head, I look like I'm wearing a permanent swim cap up here. It's just like, <laughs> like Michael Phelps. <laughs> but I met with Bosley Hair Club Transplant Treatment Center. They say it's a transplant, like they're curing cancer. They said, Marty, we can take the hair out of here and replant it up here. And I was like, well, what'll keep it from falling out from up there? And they're like, oh, well, the hair back here is not susceptible to the hormone that causes baldness. I was like, well, how do you know that? And they're like, cause it's still there. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> they said it would just cost $48,000. Four payments of $12,000 to solve all of my anxiety with my male pattern baldness. Yeah, that was a really quick conversation. <laughs> I met with another company that wanted one payment to do the same exact thing, uh, $22.95, lids. <laughs> Sold. 